Well, you might see some more stink bugs around your home as the temperatures start dropping. They're rather harmless, they say, but there are <laughs> some things you do need to know. Okay, so here to talk more about them is Scott Shermer with the Illinois Department of Agriculture. Thanks for joining us. You're the stink bug expert, is that right? <laughs> well, I don't know if I would go that far, but uh, I'm okay. here to help any way I can, yeah. Okay, well, help us out here. Why are there so many stink bugs this time of year? Well, it's interesting. They're actually, it's not like they're, they're, they're increasing in numbers or anything right now. Just as the temperatures decrease, they look to try and overwinter inside. So we're just seeing more of, more of them come toward us at this time. So they're looking to get indoors, get out of the cold like many of us, mm -hmm. and, and uh, basically hibernate or overwinter in our warm houses and shelters. Uh, way to make them relatable. They just want to get out of the cold. I get it. Uh, <laughs> we said they're rather harmless. Besides the odious things you know, do they bite? Do they cause any health issues? Are they harmful to our pets or anything? No, there's there's nothing we need to worry about as far as them getting into our houses and causing any damage or, or harm to us. They're, they're agricultural and plant pests, so we do see some damage incurred on, on some crops and, and orchards. Um, but really, there's nothing to worry about as far as the human health or animal health or even they probably won't even bother your plants indoors. They're just coming in to try and stay warm and, and basically hibernate like a bear. Oh, well, that does <laughs> not make me happy because they're not the prettiest bugs to see, right? So if you find them in your house, what should you do to get rid of them? Should you use bug spray on them? Um, is there something that you can do to, to cut down the likelihood of that? You, you, your graphic is hitting all the hitting oh. all the high spots. So we're, we're not recommending using pesticides. Pesticides generally aren't uh, effective on them. They're pretty tough bugs. Wow. Uh, again, they're coming in to basically take a nap and go to sleep. So they're not going to be mm. causing any damage. So there's no real need to try and kill them or or knock them down. Physical removal, um, scooping them up using the vacuum, uh, throwing them back outside. Uh, is going to be the best way to dispatch of Wait, them. So there's okay. really no concern from either a, a plant harm or human health, uh, animal health <laughs> standpoint as far as them getting in the house. Okay, listen, we're all put on earth for a reason. You know, bees have a purpose. Uh, spiders, although I hate them, they have a purpose as well. Why are stink bugs here? Why, why do they <laughs> exist? You stump me. Okay. Oh. I, yeah, I mean, I don't know. They're mm -hmm. they're pests. Um, they are. They stink, so nothing really wants to yeah. eat them. You know, they're invasive species, so they came here, and there's nothing that keeps them in check. Huh. But we do have native stink bugs as well. So um, there must be something out there as far as why they're here. But to me, I, I really can't tell you. Okay, they're not multiplying when they get in our house, are they? Are they having babies? Oh no, not the no, bunch of wow no. wow. Again, they're just they're basically going into hibernate. So yeah, they oftentimes they will wake up because of the temperatures being warm in the house, and and it does bring them back up out of the out of the hibernation. But they're not going to be mating or making any more. Just Thank scoop goodness. them up, throw them back outside, or flush them down the toilet. We will definitely do that. Scott Shermer, our stink bug expert. Thank you so much. We appreciate your breaking this down for us. <laughs> Thanks for having me. I appreciate it as okay, well. Okay, you take care.